Next up on WTV, Hispanic Heritage Month, the FIC Treat event, this week's edition of Real Talk, and today's sports. WTV's daily update starts now. Hey there, Red Hawk Nation. Today is Friday, September 30th, and I'm Christine Hahn with today's daily update brought to you by Wingspan TV. For years, it's been talked about, but it may finally be a reality. Statistics recently released from the U.S. Census Bureau show that Hispanics residents now may be the largest demographic group in Texas. This news comes during Hispanic Heritage Month, and for one class on campus, it's the chance to celebrate their learning. WTV's Karina Gorovskaya has this detail. What started in 1968 as a week to recognize the contributions and achievements of Hispanics in the United States became a month-long celebration in 1988 during the approval of President Ronald Reagan. Running from September 15th through October 15th, Hispanic Heritage Month is intended to celebrate and recognize the achievements and contributions of Hispanic Americans and to impress others to achieve that success. It helps them kind of realize, oh wow, like I didn't know they were Hispanic. That's really cool that, you know, they've done all this stuff. And then it kind of creates that, like, oh, Hispanic people can do more than just, I don't know, speak Spanish. To help bring attention to Hispanic Heritage Month, there are some new decorations in the library to celebrate Mexican-American culture, courtesy of the Mexican-American Studies class. I think it just helps with um, representation of Hispanic figures that have impacted American society as well. And it also, I think, opens our eyes to maybe new people that we haven't learned about just yet. Um, and not just the people, the, the things that they do. We have a lot of examples of um, authors and artists and um, actors and musicians. For Mexican-American Studies teacher Yerdiana Franco is hopeful the decorations will also help promote interest in the class. I feel like um, if people know some of the activities that we do in Mexican-American Studies, hopefully we can recruit new members for our class in the you know, next years. Um, also, it's a great opportunity for them to highlight some of the figures that we do study in our class. Hispanic culture not only includes the people and the language, but also a variety of traditions, with Hispanic Heritage Month hoping to educate students about the history of Mexico and its people. Um, it kind of helps us understand like the traditions itself, such as uh, Day of the Dead, where you celebrate past loved ones, um, Cinco de Mayo, uh, celebration of one of Mexico's victories over the Spanish during the liberation. So it's basically just to understand um, the heritage itself, of where it came from. Reporting for WTV, I'm Karina Groskaya. The TREE initiative attempts to unite the community and promote socialization. WTV's Haley Johnson has the details. Together, reading, eating, and talking, or TREE, is a one-day event that will be held tomorrow. The event hopes to promote literacy and is supported by local businesses. A list of participating businesses can be found on the Frisco ISD website. From there, students can read and talk with their friends and family, and there will also be an award for the school with the most participating students. To be a part of the contest, students must create a post on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram of them participating in the event and use the hashtag TreeFISD with their school's name. Reporting for WTV, I'm Haley Johnson. On this week's edition of Real Talk, WTV's Lauren Sinclair asked students about seasons. Hey Red Hawks, this is WTV's Lauren Sinclair with this week's edition of Real Talk. What's your favorite season? Summer because I like the lake and the beach. Summer because we don't have school and I get to do whatever I want. Winter because it's cold and Christmas. My favorite season is fall because Halloween and it's cold outside and yeah. What's your favorite part about fall? Halloween and Thanksgiving. Um, it's my birthday and Halloween and it's cold outside-ish. I like wearing sweatshirts and it being cold. Halloween. Do you think pumpkin spice is overhyped? Yes. Yeah. No, it should be in everything during the fall. No, I love pumpkin spice. What's your favorite fall Taylor Swift song? Um, I don't really like her fall songs, but I like You Bone With Me. August folklore album. I just like The Way I Loved You. Yeah, I don't know if it's really fall. Probably all too well. 10 minute version. Reporting for WTV, I'm Lauren Sinclair. 
On today's sports, WTV's Luke Martin brings you a recap on Red Hawk Athletics. Football took on Lone Star yesterday at the Ford Center. The game would be all Lone Star, with the Rangers winning the matchup 69-14. to In their final game before their bye week, the Red Hawks will look to bounce back in next week's matchup against Wakeland, playing at Toyota Stadium. After starting 5-0 in district play, volleyball competed in a non-district game against Rockwall on Tuesday. The team's win streak would come to an end, with Rockwall winning the matchup 3-2. The team will look to get back on track in a district matchup tonight, going up against Lebanon Trail at 5.30 at Lebanon Trail High School. Cross Country competed in the Ken Gatson Invitational yesterday. The girls team would finish first overall, including an individual first place finish from junior Sydney Wilkins. The boys team would not place overall, but would include notable finishes from junior Jack Voringer and senior Andrew Howdegy, with Voringer placing 5th and Howdegy placing 12th. Reporting for WTV, I'm Luke Martin. If you are looking for more from Wingspan, you can follow us at Liberty Wingspan on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok, or visit our award-winning website, libertywingspan.com. And now for today's announcements. Attention AP students, AP exam payment for full year and fall AP courses is now open through November 1st. Payment will be made online through online school fees. Students not enrolled in an AP course but want to take an AP exam must contact CCMR facilitator Heather Shields at shieldsh at friscoisd.org. You must register and pay by the November 1st deadline to avoid late fees. Are you interested in law competitions or participating in a courtroom trial? Join Mock Trials Remind by texting at libmt22 or by scanning the QR code below. Pink Out shirts are now on sale until October 6th for $20. Order at the link below or scan the QR code below. The Pink Out game is October 20th. Today is the last day to order and get senior shirt. To get yours, scan the QR code below. That's it for today's daily update. This is Christine Hahn for Wingspan TV.